once again, the enemy has turned back. Another battle won because the challenger failed to show. Time after time, we go through these events on YouTube and people don't show. They hide behind darkness. Fans. And fanatical viewers who watch them and place them in mythological status. Just like all those in the past who stepped up to the plate, went yakety yakety, and failed to show. It's the exact same thing time and time again. It's not the person who throws the first punch who actually fights these battles. It's those that believe that they watch this person and put them in such high esteem that beyond all belief that this person which they believe in is number one and can never be outdone, outwitted, outsmarted. But that always is a fantasy. That belief that you're number one and you are the number one fan. That fanaticism never gets the person that you're being outrageously devoted to in any better light. It doesn't bring that person up, doesn't make that person stronger. It brings that person's character down. That's why those who watch my show don't go off fanatical and, 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 and flag and, and attack others. Because we're intellectually better than that. So some people get scared when they stand behind the one that is real. Some people are afraid that when he stands up the way other people do. That there's always a problem. There's always a problem when I act like you. There's something wrong when he shows the same outrageous disrespect that he receives. AIX must be wrong because he can act like those who ignify the whole fact that YouTube is a community oriented being of its own. In other words, because you can say something, I can too. So because I can, don't be mad. Don't get angry. Don't seek vengeance upon those who respect me because those who respect you have no respect in my world. If you can call the kettle black, can't the kettle call you black? If I can be spit upon, can I not spit? Please. What is righteous? What is ignorance? What is real? Some say I cannot be defined if I don't show my face. I must show my face so people can see me. So they can say I'm a drunk. So they can say this. So they can say that. So they can disrespect me. I see why Willie Pete never showed his face. But for me to be real, I must show my face? Or should I put on a mask and hide behind little girls? Why must a man be defined by his image? 
I need not be defined by my image, but be defined by my words. If I cannot be respected, I must not have to show respect. If I don't deserve to be respected, I must not need to show respect. If I must demand respect, I must receive it. If I can't receive it, ain't no way in hell I must demand myself to give it to you. Please. Should I show my face? Or should I hide behind darkness and wage a war until all those on the down low who believe in me to go flag everybody they see who oppose thine will? Please. If words are to be twisted, thou shalt twist them in thine image. Should I make myself feel mythological? I should throw some music on. But instead, I'm watching Maury. And they're doing lie detector tests to see if men have cheated, to see if women have cheated. I can tell you one thing, baby. You have been cheated. You have been cheated by those who put themselves up on a pedestal so high that those with the weaker minds must believe that this is real. How can someone speak to you and they live in a fantasy world? A world that some people only dream of and some people only see, but some people have the opportunity to live better than others. And the weak want to take that ride. Some people can't understand when they fall into a trap that they cannot get out the trap. The trap has been set and sprung by themselves. A young person's mind don't understand what an older man can do to it. For the real people out there who don't flag and attack people's friends, people's subscribers. For the real people out there who do this YouTube to teach. For the real people out there who watch these videos and learn right from wrong and understand that these are people trying to show something. I'm not trying to prove nothing. I'm not saying what is good or what is bad because my life hasn't always been rosy. I don't have what I want to take myself to the next level, but I am not going to bring somebody else down. Learn from my mistakes. Grow. Take every story as a run on a ladder and build from it. Take yourself to the next level. Learn from my mistakes. Don't fall into my shoes. If you can't walk in my shoes. People out there fail to realize that I can. I will. And I will never. Because I can do what I want to. I live this. I ride this ride. I am taking this journey. I walk it alone. No one can stand in my shoes. No one can defeat me. I am all that there ever will be because I believe that I am. So think about yourself. Think about who you are. Think about all you've done. Don't cry. Don't bitch. And don't complain. Because in the end, the only person that you got to complain about, the only person that ever did you wrong was yourself. And if the circle does not come around before this video ends, I want you to think about one damn thing. And this is the only thing I want you to think about. Is what is real. What is fantasy. Because the truth is the truth. A lie is a lie. And a story is just a story. You know it's real. When it comes from me. And you know it's a story.
you've been tubed.